Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. It is January 14th for me, I'm picking up right where I left off, and when we left off, the focus lost didn't work, um, unfortunately. So, I'm not sure why. Um, possibly because I have the wrong method name. But no, I don't. So, Just double check that. Okay, I don't know what's going on, so I'm going to do a little bit of manual checking. So uh, the lost is definitely firing. So the question is, is the problem the way my test is firing the event, it doesn't like it? Or is the problem in the code that's doing the reformatting? It's the test. Darn. Uh, yeah, the code works just fine. Ah. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. I don't know how to make this work because I am dispatching the event. I suppose. Is there a way of. Yeah. It may just be asynchronous. Let me try sleeping on it. I throw exception rather than specific exceptions out of my test because that way, um, is that it? It's done. Huh. Something is wrong with the test, but what? Okay, the field no longer has focus. Does that mean that... What is this computing additional info? Hmm, I've got a bad feeling about this. I think I'm running into some threading or some, some interactions with swing issues. I'm going to go ahead and restart Eclipse, but I'm going to cut it out. Okay, I'm back. So, we are successfully losing focus. Well, let's go ahead and fire up the debugger and see what happens. Okay. So here we are. Well, let's step into that. Oops. <laughs> I 
or not. Let's do that again. Um, okay, so five is step into. You know what? I don't. I don't want to do that. That's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to set a breakpoint here inside of focus lost. And um, see which breakpoint is hit first, this one or that one. Okay, so there we are about to dispatch the event. Then we assert that the field should no longer. So it didn't actually hit our focus lost uh, test. Okay, so that's interesting. Is there another way we can do this? Process focus event. Well, this is a bit dodgy, but I'm thinking that I can override process focus event and um, run this code. Yeah, I don't really like doing that, but let's see what happens. It doesn't work anyway. Uh, well, I don't know how to deal with this. Um, I'm guessing that there's something happening on another thread or something like that. Um, this is really putting a wrench in the works though, that's for sure. Let me take another look. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because I don't think this is very much fun to watch. I'm going to go ahead and do some research and hopefully figure it out. I'll be back in a bit. All right, I'm back. I've got it figured out. So what was happening was that um, that focus event was being processed on a different thread. Uh, it was probably just a coincidence that it was working before at all, to be honest. Um, so what I did was I used the swing utilities invoke later, which causes this to be added to the end of the event queue and run on the same thread as the focus lost event. And that, that fixed it. That, uh, 
that now works. And let's see if it's working consistently. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Um, so I'm feeling okay about this. I don't love the fact that I'm poking events into the system, but it actually appears that that is that Swing is designed to be abused in this way. So that's looking okay to me. Um, so let's see. I've you know that took me enough time that I've kind of lost track of where I'm at. But I should be able to type that in, and then when I tab away, it comes back. And then, uh, I, oh yeah, what I wanted to do next, I wanted to do commas properly. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now this gets into a formatting question. Who's, who's responsible for doing the formatting of the dollars? And um, the parsing is being done here in the text field, but the formatting, I think, should be done in dollars. There's definitely some issues with that way that's happening. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I think I've got... Um, I need to take care of that case where the trailing D is illegal. Oh yeah, but I haven't uh, I haven't done that yet because I haven't handled bad formatting in general. So we're using the dollar sign. That's good. Now I'd like it to do commas, and I think I'm going to do that inside of dollars, um, just because it's convenient. That's uh, something I might want to come back to later. And I've got a note to come back to it, so that's good. Just feels wrong to have sophisticated parsing and formatting inside of a, of a value object. Um, uh, but, hmm, you know, say la vie. I did that wrong, didn't I? trouble here. There, that's what I wanted. And um, one more just for fun. Okay, so how am I going to format this? No idea. <laughs> But uh, luckily, that is the end of our time. I'm pretty tired, so that's going to be it for my recording today. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much for watching. I'll talk to you later.